What, Simon, do you want to go outside? Yeah? You want to go outside? Good morning, guys. It's Shannon. Paul's over here, too. And Simon's here. He's saying he wants to go outside. You want to go out there, buddy? Yeah? Okay, you, you want this one? Is this what you want? Okay, go ahead. Go outside. And he's off. I can't follow him. There he is. He wants to sniff. So, oh, it's so bright out here. You guys can't see. We need to adjust this new camera. So anyway, Simon is an indoor only cat, but every now and then he likes to come out on the porch and sniff. So we let him do that. Um, he enjoys it. <laughs> He's saying hi to the other neighborhood cats that come visit. Anyway, we'll let him stay out here for just a second with us watching him. And then we take him back inside. Okay, so we were going to update you a little bit on the living room disaster. Thank you for all your nice comments. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we got so many nice comments saying it's not that bad. It's just toys. At least it's not dirty. It drives me absolutely insane. Actually, it drives two out of four of the people in the house absolutely insane. One a little bit insane and one not at all. We'll let you guess who's who. <laughs> After all this time, I can still drive Shannon wild. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> all right, so it got... A little bit better here temporarily because we took that, well, Paul took that big box of donations to Goodwill. We have more Goodwill stuff back there, so that's going to help. Or actually, maybe not even Goodwill. Um, thank you, Kristen, for the um, tip on... The tip. I couldn't think of what I wanted to say. The yep. tip on another charity in the area. Yep. We're going to be looking at them for other stuff as well, but maybe we'll take some of our other stuff to them too. Yeah. But that was pretty cool. Thank you for that. But anyway, so it it did look better, but then Hallmark had to send us stuff. <laughs> so we love Hallmark. <laughs> we, we love Hallmark. Thank you, Hallmark. We have a giant box right there filled with itty bitties and other fun stuff that's going to be coming up on PS Toy Reviews. But um, anyway, so the room had gotten a little bit better, and then we got a bunch of shipments. And because we're not, we don't have a place to kind of do. The processing when orders come in, this is it right here. The front door. So when we order stuff, it just all gets opened right here. We probably need to work on fixing that. Yeah, we do. But Paul, can I film you? Sure. Paul. In my grumpy shirt. In his grumpy shirt. He's not grumpy. He just loves grumpy. I do. I like grumpy. Um, so Paul, wait, we got to show. Hi, Simon. Hello. Did you want to say hello to everybody? Hey, say hello. He's like, what is that? I want to sniff it. He wants to sniff the tripod that the camera's mm -hmm. attached to right now. Hello, kitty. <laughs> um, Paul is going to work on cleaning yep. some today while I'm editing videos. Yes. <laughs> right, ladies? I scored. <laughs> <laughs> I get to go do computer work and he has to clean. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, you're saying you score, but I clean differently than Shannon would. Yes. So what will happen is I will clean, like I'll feel good about what I've done, and Shannon will come down and look and be like, what'd you do? <laughs> that's not totally fair. It's not, it's, that, yeah, that, that's not totally accurate, but. <laughs> that That's kind of because Paul's a shover. <laughs> look at him laughing. So I have a good example of this. Here, I'll, okay. I'll say, sorry, I'm in my pajamas still. It's not good. I have cat fur all over me. Don't look at that. So um, the boys and I were down here the other night. We were sorting some stuff out and Paul picked up some plastic bags that we use for organizing the stuff. And in front of all of us, he picked them up and he went into the kitchen and like started to shove them in some random cupboard. We're like, what are you doing? <laughs> that I was cleaning. <laughs> That's not cleaning. Leave comments. Say, Paul, that's not cleaning. Thank you for trying, but that's not cleaning. <laughs> anyway. That's so, how Paul cleans. <laughs> yes, that is how Paul cleans. Um, so anyway, we'll see. <laughs> we'll update you and see what he does in here. It, unfortunately, he has to clean in the garage today, too, because we need an electrician to come over. And so I don't know how much is going to get done in here. Not I much. hope. I hope a lot. I have visions of this whole front area being clean. <laughs> He's cracking up. Okay, well, let's see what what we can accomplish today. So we were just talking and telling you guys I haven't even, like, barely turned off the camera, haven't gone upstairs yet, and UPS brought more boxes. So 
There's one right there we already opened. I'm not going to show you what's inside. It's a treat for PS Toy Reviews. But more stuff showed up. So Paul hasn't even had a chance to start cleaning yet. And more is coming. <laughs> so, well, yeah. I'm done. You done for the day? I think so. He, he did run out to meet the UPS guy. So, you it's know, he... Woo, high and beat. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon's upstairs editing videos right now. So I wanted to show you the progress that I made. I feel like I've done... A pretty decent amount of stuff in a short period of time. Let's show you here. There's now a lot of blank space in the floor, or there's a lot of floor space rather, it's not blank. Um, so I broke down some boxes that we had. Uh, I've got a box going so far for Goodwill. I have a couple of other big boxes that I'm just gonna set over here and save, because um, those are good donation boxes. What I'm hoping to do is clean this corner out today. Um, so this picture right here, this is something, it's a Thomas Kincaid framed print that we've had for a long time. It's really pretty. Uh, let me lift it up and see if I can show you. It's something that we're not planning on keeping, but it's one of those things that I don't want to just donate and get rid of. Um, we have a bunch of auction houses in the area. I'm hoping that I can take that over to one of them and get rid of it that way. Uh, we have some stuff here from Sh uh, Shannon when she used to be a close to my heart stamping rep. Um, that I'm gonna have to find another home for because that's not going, that's not being donated. Um, when I say find another home for it, I just mean somewhere else in our house, but it's gonna go out of that corner. And let's see, I've got some toys here that still have to be opened. I think these are gonna be donated. Not sure. And I'm going to show you the world's creepiest doll here. This is one of those other things that, like, we want to get rid of. We don't want it, but we don't want to just donate it either. I think this was Shannon's grandmother's doll. And now, and then her mom got it, and then Shannon got it from her mom. So here it is. Look, her eyes just popped open. So it's actually, it's actually very pretty eyes. It's actually kind of a pretty doll, but it's also sort of, I don't know, sort of creepy. So if you guys know what doll this is, we would love to know because we just haven't looked it up or done anything. Shannon feels like it's, I mean, it's old. Um, she feels like it's probably valuable, but we have no idea what in the world it is. So that's one of those things that if we, if we take it over to an auction house, we feel like they're at least going to do some research on it and get, you know, money for it, um, which is fine. Um, it may actually not be worth anything. We don't know, but it's just one of those things that, you know, it, it's something you don't see anymore. They don't make dolls like that anymore. So we, we don't want to just get rid of it. Um, I'm sure everybody's got stuff that's like that. It's like, you don't want your house anymore. You feel like it's just clutter, but you don't want to just get rid of it. <laughs> you feel like you want to get something for it. That's what that picture and that doll are for us. We also have other pieces of furniture around here that are like that. And other things that fall into that camp. Um, it's just kind of funny the way you feel about some things. All right, guys. All your positive comments about the living room have given me the courage to show you inside of this room. Are you ready? Oh yeah. This is our YouTube storage room. Which is a mess, or another mess, I should say. But I'm in the process of cleaning this up as well. So this second shelf here with, or that one, two, three, third shelf down with all the empty space right now, that used to be like all the figural key rings. I just kind of emptied part of that shelf off. I know, you're probably wondering, how do I even get over there? It's like an obstacle course, it's pretty cool. Um, I emptied out all the Disney key rings and I put them inside of a bin. But before I did that with the Marvel ones, I figured I better show you this room so that way you kind of believed how much of a mess it was. <laughs> this looks really bad <laughs> now that I'm filming it. You guys may not see this. <laughs> this may get edited out. But there's stuff like this is what happens when you have a YouTube channel and you unbox stuff. You buy a bunch of stuff thinking, oh, it'll be so cool to open this up. 
and some of the stuff just does not translate when you want to film it or you buy more than you end up wanting to open so we have a bunch of stuff in here that needs to be donated um just a lot of the stuff needs to be organized so yeah there it is plus shannon also has ideas about doing a doll only channel so that's what that entire storage shelf right there is at the end that's all just dolls and there's american girl stuff over there somewhere and in our closet is full of american girl stuff i have visions of doing a trading card channel with like pokemon and magic at the gathering so the bottom shelf there is all pokemon and there's some num noms and some more pokemon and dolls and just other stuff yeah so here is a pink storage bin that you can kind of see it sitting there on our, in our hall room floor it's full of disney blind bag key rings so this used to be more than like one of those shelves full of stuff so i'm i can now break down all the boxes that are empty that are still sitting in that room so that'll help clear some of that out and then i'm gonna use another one of these totes to put all the superhero key rings in and that'll help out a little bit okay so i am back in the area that you keep seeing me in i'm like always <laughs> starting in this area but look i'm wearing my batman shirt bat shirt bat shirt okay there is paul hello let me see hold on i gotta move the me? camera down there we go there you go okay it's always tough when i flip the camera around because it's like yeah, and I accidentally hit the thing that said manual focus, so Paul might have went blurry oh, for a minute, so okay. I fixed it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm really proud of Paul today, guys. He did an amazing amount of work. Not right there. Look, all you can <laughs> see is right there. All they can see is the pool table mess, but check it out over here. So, let's see. I'm in the corner. In fairness, those shoe boxes were just brought down to me. Yep, I just brought those to Paul so he can take, he is going to recycle a bunch of stuff. Yep. Oh, there's a kitty. Hi, Simon. Simon will be staying. He's not being recycled. No, we're not recycling Simon. That whole bag is to be recycled too. Yep. Well, that whole pile of cardboard. We have another Goodwill box going. <laughs> or donation box. It's going somewhere. Yeah, donation. I guess uh, when I say Goodwill, I just mean donation. Donation. Yeah. I don't know. I just use Goodwill. Kind of like how you use Kleenex yeah, for you, a tissue. Right. You say, I need a Kleenex, but what you really mean is I need a tissue. Yeah. I always say Goodwill. I don't know. <laughs> I would say Kleenex. Okay. There's a cat again. Hello, Simon. So here's a bunch more cardboard to be recycled. The toilet box is gone. There is cat fur and debris all over the floor, so we're going to be vacuuming. But look at all the floor. <laughs> yep, and I cleaned out that corner. I was showing you guys that corner, so I've actually cleaned that out. Yep. So what's going to happen is we're going to start putting some of those gray bins that we bought over there as we organize some stuff. And we have a cat again. <laughs> okay. Get rid of the cat. The cat follows us everywhere. Okay, and those boxes are being saved right now so we can put more donation yep. stuff in them. Yeah, they're a good size box. So yeah, here, we'll spin this way. Say hello, Simon. Say hi, hi. everybody's hi. watching you. Oh, you wanna, you wanna show them how you get into boxes? <laughs> Simon likes to jump on top. Oh, let's, see, let's see how this works. Yeah, let's see, are you gonna be brave and do it? He's like, I'm thinking about it. He likes to climb on top of the boxes in the house and then lift the lids up and try to get inside with the toys. Yeah. No. Not He's decided. today. He's like, I know you're watching. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you something funny. Are you ready? Can you see out the front window? There's a toilet box on our porch. That won't be there for very long. And a Chipotle catering. That's from the Super Bowl. Yeah. And a banana box. That must be for It's a mango box, actually. A mango box, even better. <laughs> so all day long, we've had a toilet box sitting on our porch. Were those people? Were those people? So, Paul, how do you feel? I feel tired. I also I feel good. I feel <laughs> I feel good with what I got done. Um, it, it was just a small little space, but I feel like now you and Drew can start putting your bins of stuff over there in the corner where you wanted. I'm gesturing yeah. with my arm grandly over there in the corner. Over there, over there. Yeah. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, we'll start moving towards organizing this room little by little because it's been, it's just been, you know, irritating me for a long time that this room isn't organized. I've really been after Shannon to... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Paul... <laughs> <He was trying. laughs> Paul is so 
joking. In the future, you should turn the camera around and film me when you say something like that, because my face was much better than your face. Your eyes were rolling so bad. I, <laughs> like they I know. Dizzy. They rolled so back far in my head, I almost can't see anymore. <laughs> No, but anyway, the I'm, mess doesn't bother Paul at I'm, all. I'm happy with the progress I made today um, because we had other stuff to do as well. I wasn't able just to do this all day long. Oh yeah, we've been busy. Um, obviously, a lot of stuff still we have to make choices about and decide what we're going to do. I showed you guys part of that other room. I can't believe I might edit that out. He just said that, but I might edit that out. <laughs> I heard him filming yeah. in our YouTube storage room, and I'm like, <gasps> yeah, you may not can't see. show people that. So, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a pretty dramatic change in this room and that room. Again, I said it once we're finally done, but I think it's just going to be a long, gradual process. Yep. So, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along a little bit on the process today, um, or just to kind of see some updates. I guess you really didn't see the process. Here, here's the process. Walk, walk, walk. Pick. Oh, wait, let me get over here. Okay, we're going to show you process video. Pick up your cardboard. Okay, you guys are coming along. <laughs> and now he's going to take it out the front door. <laughs> and there goes a cat. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right, so that's you guys were part of the process. <laughs> he has taken some of that out. The rest of this stuff is going to kind of go, but he did a really good job. So that's really awesome. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining us. We will see you soon.